the mystical and majestic Carpathian Mountains, they hold a lot of secrets and treasures. Here, there is also a unique climate, creative waters and majestic waterfalls. Welcome to the multicoloured Subcarpathia and the capital of folk art of Hutzelstina. There are museums, galleries and souvenir shops with the works of very talented local masters and artists. A true atmosphere of a holiday, which you can feel and see with your own eyes, reigns here. So this weekend, we will visit the ancient town of Kosiv. Kosiv is a resort town in Ivano-Frankivsk region. The provincial centre is located at the foot of the Carpathians in the valley of the Rybnitsa River and the tributary of the Prut River. Kosiv has the status of a historic town with a population of about 9,000 people. A trip to the Carpathians is ideal for those who dream of combining active leisure with calm contemplation of beautiful mountain landscapes and fantastic and renowned historical monuments. Local inhabitants will welcome all tourists. There are hospitable courts and hotels where you can stay for the night and enjoy a delicious meal of local cuisine. It is better to take sports clothing, comfortable boots and good humour along the hike. The local hutzels will arrange the rest for you. And this is the truth. Just look at how young children dressed in bright folk costumes welcomes us. It was not only nature that endowed this land, history also left its significant marks. The town of Kosiv is located in a picturesque valley. There are indeed many legends about the origin of the town's name. One of them tells that the former vivold of Danilo Halitsky, Kosic, chose this territory for himself. So the town was named after him. However, there are other legends about the origin of the town's name. Hutzels call starlings Kossi. There are also a lot of starlings in Kossiv. So this is one of the versions about the origins of the town's name. Kossiv is the town of starlings and the town of masters. We invite you to visit Kossiv to meet its hospitable inhabitants and feel the warm atmosphere of the town. Kosiv is the Hutzel Switzerland in terms of the beauty of its mountains and nature. But there is another advantage, namely Kosiv is a town of masters. I think that nature inherently inspires these local folk to create. I would venture to say that there is a master of handicrafts in every house. These people are engaged, in particular in weaving carpet twines, wood carving, embroidery, making ceramic items and many other forms of crafts. So it is no wonder that a unique art school, where future specialists in applied and folk art have been taught for about a century, is located in this town. We are very happy that we have such an opportunity to live in these blessed lands, surrounded by these wonderful Carpathian landscapes. And of course, folk crafts, which became the basis of the activity of our school, have been developing here for many years. Our school was established as a weaving school in 1882. Last year, we celebrated the 135th anniversary of the institution's establishment. The creative work of several generations of masters, who worked on the territory of our land for many centuries, is a great source of inspiration for the creativity of our pupils, our students and our masters. Carpet weaving is a unique craft. We can weave unique items for the interior of threads. These threads are used to weave a tapestry or a carpet. I would really like to continue developing this craft so that I can introduce new ideas into it. I want to do everything possible to develop the art of carpet weaving and preserve this craft for future generations. In this workshop, students of Artistic Textile Department master weaving art, textile painting, tapestry and printed linen techniques. It is the place where students restore ancient techniques and introduce them into weaving of modern items.
I chose weaving because it was very traditional for Kosiv, and Kosiv is a center of Hutsul land. I was impressed by tapestries and carpets, exactly our traditional Kosiv carpets and ornaments. It is very interesting. Students of this unique educational institution have the opportunity to learn secrets of authentic crafts from experienced artists who have extensive practice. These masters learn ancient Hutzel techniques and show them to their students. After that, many of the graduation projects are used in everyday life. For example, there is a project of the public graduation work of Ivan Verkola, a student of the Department of Artistic Work. It was his own project that was used to construct wells all over the town. I think that this well will exist for a long time, and my children will also study at this school. At this point, I have already acquired a sufficient number of certain skills, but I couldn't stop there. On the contrary, I should continue developing my skills, and I think that in the future, I will attain the name of a true master. In general, we are proud that students of our educational institution become true masters after their graduation. They end up in the ranks of arts centers, as well as masters of different professions and directions, because our main objective is not only to teach a student to study folk art of the region, but also to develop it and let the rest of the world know about it. The adornment and pride of this learning institution is a museum. It exhibits the works of talented graduates, art objects of well-known masters who learned their craft here, as well as wooden, leather and metal handicrafts, furniture and fashion collections. As you can see, not only ethnic art of the Hutzel region is represented here, but also exhibits from Pokutya, Lemkivshina and Boykivshina. So all the ethnic regions are represented in our museum here, and we are striving to preserve all the exhibits there is also a souvenir shop, where you can buy the art objects that were made by the students. This is precisely why all connoisseurs of folk art should pay a visit to this wonderful place. We will be glad to see all guests who visit our town in our educational institutions. Kosiv always welcomed its guests, and our school also invites you to join us. We have a good opportunity to get acquainted with folk master Mikola Strinajuk, who is also a graduate of the Kosiv Art School. Good afternoon, please come in. A unique self-made technique. If we take a closer look at his works, we will see that his pictures and plates are made not only of wood, but also of other quite different materials. They consist of metal, scraps of different fabrics, and elements of painted Easter eggs. It is worth taking a closer look because you can hardly see small details in a photograph. I was born in this town. I studied this craft in a local art school, so I did not have a chance to choose another profession. I combine traditional things, but this is my own vision. I mix them in such a way as I see them. Recently, I started to create square forms, like pictures. It is quite interesting for me to create something new every time. This is a creative process, and it can lead me to unknown directions. Mikola agreed to show us his workshop, so let's go and check out how this Kosiv virtuoso works and where his unique works are born. I've already gone through the creative process. This stage is called performance of work, because the creative process is the idea of searching. This work brings me enjoyment and is not difficult for me. At first glance, there is nothing special in my workshop. But I feel very comfortable here. I know where everything lies. This chaos is what I need. The folk craftsman says there is a lot of talented masters in the town, so it's very important to create work that stands out among the rest. Each master should create his or her own special style. It is quite impressive and wonderful that the two sons of the master continue his craft works. 
They are engaged in wood carving. If you see a picture or plate with a carved signature of the master, Koka, in the corner, then you definitely know that this is the work of the Kosiv carver, Mikola Strinnadjuk. I invite all of you to visit Kosiv to enjoy the Carpathians and art. Kosiv is a compact and small town, but it offers everything you need to have a cosy rest. There are many local coffee shops, restaurants and shops, but the majority of the shops sell souvenirs and Hutzel art objects. Kosiv is a very unique town, and I'm very glad that it is known in the whole world. The town charms with its nature. There are a lot of tourist routes. Here you could drink fresh spring water and admire waterfalls. And the main aim of local residents is to present all of this to tourists. Kosiv land always welcomes all of its guests. Kosiv residents always welcome all of their guests. It is open for the people, and the Kosiv residents will always warmly welcome you with open arms and hearts to their beautiful rural town. Carpathian inhabitants are very hospitable and they love to eat. Local cuisine is quite diverse and local dishes are easy to cook. I would recommend you to taste Hutzel cuisine because if you come to Kosiv, it's hard not to feel the uniqueness of its local cuisine. All of Kosiv dishes are worth tasting. So let us now have a look at how Kosiv residents entertain their guests. We welcome you to our picturesque town of Kosiv. Here you can have a good rest and a delicious meal. You are always welcome. The speciality of the house is called a half-meter sausage. The peculiarity of this sausage is that it consists of different kinds of meat, poultry, wild boar and pork. The dish is served with pot herbs and spices. Hutzel cuisine is really tasty. It includes a lot of interesting dishes, so you can try some new dish every single day. Kosiv is a cosy and picturesque town with a long and interesting history. There is an original lifestyle preserved in this region. Making a trip to the outskirts of the town, you will understand that the higher the locals live in the mountains, the less the hustle and bustle in their daily lives. Hutzels are unique people, so we will get acquainted with their customs and rituals and visit the Kosiv Ethno Gallery. Kosiv is a unique land. If you visit our gallery, it will fascinate you with the variety of costumes. This ethno gallery is an example of how young people respect, maintain and prolong the local traditions of their land on which they were born. As an example, Bogdan Petrichuk has collected and has been restoring Hutzel costumes for a long time. So he decided that he shouldn't keep this treasure at home. He felt that he should show it to other people. Why is our gallery worth visiting? Well, because it is not a state museum, where all the exhibits are kept behind the glass. Here you can touch the display units by hand, and our main task is to create a contact between people who want to get acquainted with the Hutzel land and the exhibits. Kosiv is also a resort town, so all tourists are attracted by its unique natural habitat, the picturesque mountain river and Kosiv Hook waterfall, which is not very large, but is also in the centre of the town. There are wonderful landscapes of the Carpathian mountain tops. Due to the fact that the tops are very low, every tourist can climb any mountain slope. You can find any entertainment here to your liking during any season of the year. The local people are very hospitable and the infrastructure is very well developed. Your visit to this beautiful land with its friendly people will be unforgettable. Of course, one day will not be enough to see all the interesting sights in Kosiv. We will also see how young Hutzels dance and listen to the comical Kosiv musicians. Travel throughout Ukraine, explore new cities and tell the whole world about them. May all your trips be bright and unforgettable.